Hello everybody and welcome. I'm No02 and thank you for watching this video. I sort of hit the ground running with Tones of Terror and uh, then I... It's been about a week since I last posted and uh, well I got sick. Nothing too serious, just a, just a standard cold, you know. But the baby got sick and then I got sick and then the wife got sick and now about a week later we're sort of on the better half of it now. Now I want to finish up these hive walkthroughs here. We have Caustic Cesspool. Caustic Cesspool. Check the timestamps for everything that uh, you might be interested in. But typically these go, I will give a little a little brief sort of description of this map. An exact detail of the, uh, what this, how this map is broken down. And then I'll go through the walkthrough of actually playing through the map, describing the areas, showing you little tips and tricks and things like that. As well as where the hidden achievement is when we get there. So, Caustic Cesspool. What's going on here? Uh, for the most part, this is sort of the standardy of the hives. There's an early exit right in the middle. There's no guaranteed boss fight. Um, as far as like, uh, you know, like the Ogre on 300 below or the Breaker on, on Bloodstream. And for the most part, you're going to go into a chamber, go some hallways, and then some more hallways and some more chambers and things like that. But this... This does, doesn't feel super safe, actually. What's weird about this one is that the offshoots, the little branches that take us off the main path and then to where the extra loot is or potentially where some totems are, actually tend to be safer places to hold out than the actual main path itself. There's a lot of verticality that you're going to be experiencing on this map on the main path. You'll be on the main path. Below you will be a river of acid. And then above you, there will be uh, tons and tons and tons of the... Um, uh, nests the the gooey sacks of uh ridden <laughs> above you like and over every room in the, in the entirety of the hallway they're everywhere as well as tons of sleepers in this map but the actual breakdown of cesspool here we're going to drop into a, a big old open chamber uh some opportunity for some loot here and there but for the most part it just takes us right to the hallway we go to our hallway up and down little offshoots here and there and for the most part, I would actually recommend taking all of the offshoots. They're pretty much on the main path. They're not really big detours in general. And when it comes to dealing with the horde, just about all of the side paths will put you into a good position as far as dealing with the horde. Getting your back against the wall or being able to split a hallway two and two. I'll go right into it here. Dropping down. One thing to important to note, if you, once you drop down, get away from the slide because the bots are going to break. So if you hug this slide, and I'll try to demonstrate it here, if you hug this slide, you see the bots, they, the bots break, the bots will jump up and down, the bots will try to get up here, so once you drop down, be sure to get away from this slide, otherwise you'll look like Jim here. Can you see that sleeper? There's two sleeper spawns behind this uh, waterfall, this acid fall here. There's one of them right there. The other one, though, on the left side, you can't see it at all. You can't see it at all. So just be sure to spray this waterfall a little bit if you're going to walk over here. You can actually hear it. Uh, here's a little bit of loot. There's usually nothing too crazy over here. But an opportunity to get your back against the wall. And the other bit of loot opportunity is that little corner right there. We're teased with the end right there. One thing that you can check if you're interested in, in farming totems is if you can see the totem here. Looks like the totem is not here. Which means the totem is in the hallway. Ooh, and I heard a uh, hive. Nice, nice, got him. Also heard the inner hive. So this hive, this, this hive is, uh, not all of the hives you can guarantee getting all three totems and taking the, the inner hive exit out. This one you can. If you get all three totems and you have an inner hive uh, spawn, you can guarantee get all three of them. This one knows, right? So the, vert the verticality, pool of acid, tons of egg sacs above us. Opportunity for loot here. That's sort of our last good holdout point that's basically on the main path. Tiny bit of opportunity for loot here. But otherwise, the whole path is just egg sacks and sleepers and 
that acid verticality. Be sure to uh, check the other side of this webbing before you start removing it because if you're removing it and you add row zombies to the other side, they'll walk up and they'll punch you. So you can shoot through to pull them or things like that. Sleepers on the walls. I would say the biggest thing is, is just pay attention to all the sleepers. Here's a potential spawn for a warp chest, but also a totem can spawn here. And you can sort of see right away now that we're in the we're in an offshoot, we're in the side passage. And uh, immediately, the egg sacks are not directly above us, they're down there, so who cares. And now we're in a pretty decent place to hold out, just destroy the egg sacks above you. Right, just be sure to do that. Which, there's a lot of them, I understand, I understand. That was a sneaky one. And now we're in a relatively decent place to hold out. We can go two and two as far as, as far as splitting the horde. We're gonna take all this damage. I don't remember taking all this damage. All right, and now we're chilling. And now we're just chilling. So it's sort of funny enough how the side passages are safer than taking the main path a lot of the times. And I'm not super convinced that you always need to kill these egg sacs, like... They spawn... they spawn ridden pretty slowly, and... As long as they're not dropping on top of your head, like... I don't really care too much about them. We've got a double warp chest. Right, uh, as well as the other totem can spawn here as well. And I believe if you haven't gotten a totem yet at this point, in those two locations I just showed you, showed you the first totem is in this room. Sort of in a big second chamber here now. That same bit of verticality as far as acid below us, hallway on top for the most part. Here's our first totem spawn. When it comes to getting out, there's you can exit here. Exit right here as far as falling down. The third exit here. If you fall down. If you fall down, you can climb up here. Once you're up here, you can jump across right there. And sort of back into the hallway again. This is the only place where the deviation doesn't really matter. This is the most direct path to our right if we go left. A little waterfall here. An extra loot opportunity. Well, I guess it's actually safer. This is still a good holdout spot. A little shallow. A little shallow, but if you got good stumble, then who cares about the recurse and stuff? Next, I'm going to show you where the hidden achievement is, so if you don't care to see that, skip to the next uh, timestamp. I'm out of ammo. Not friends. Thanks, Jim. So here is the totem. Should be able to see it right there. You don't jump up from here, you go down the slide. If you want to get this achievement, you have to commit to going down. But it's right. Oh. Immediately to your left of going down the slide, you climb up. Crouch through this webbing. It looks like you can't make it through, but you but you can. Oh no, my baby. I'll be right back, my child is woken up. Thank you, Jim. 
Oh, right. I'm back. I'm back. She's good. She's good. She doesn't need a pacify, you know what I mean? Don't we all? So here is the hidden achievement. Wait, where do I go? Up. Up further. Now that we're here, an achievement right in the rocks. Just climb up, unlock the webbing. It's not too bad. I never fought a horde up here. I don't know if the ribbon can climb this or not. But we'll find out for a little bit of it's like a science. The bots don't like being up here. Doc seems to be stuck. Let's keep going. Go, Doc. Favor Jim. Okay. And now we're back in the hallway here. Sort of lose out on the verticality now at this point, but we're still sort of forced onto a hallway as far as where we can walk comfortably. And now the main path is to the left, but I actually recommend just going right. This is the optional area. Takes you to some loot. As well as a totem spawn. But again, you can just see the optional path. Really solid place to hold out. It's a really solid hallway. And if you follow it all the way, more loot opportunity, but also we get some high ground here. We can uh, deal with stuff. And again, even decent hallway enough for so long as you pop the nests up above, the sacks up above, you can split it two and two and things climb up and you can hold off the climb. Nothing over there, to the left there. So just keep going along. In our hive to our left. Oh, thanks, guys. And there can also be a totem spawn right here. Your third totem potentially could be right here. Here's the third totem. And we're almost done. We're, we're just about done with the cesspool here. Pouring our grenades now. With our final reward here. Out in the chamber. The webbing to leave. We're pretty standard you now. Not a lot. Not a lot going on here. Uh, there's actually pretty decent, uh, there's a decent amount of holdout spots sort of spread throughout this particular hive. Relatively simple. I think it says watch out for the sleepers and don't fall in the acid. I know you can do that. Any questions, concerns, let me know in the comments. I'd love to answer them. Otherwise, enjoy your hives, guys. I'll see you in the future.